This episode is on debt. Debt is a big factor of most people's lives. If nothing else, uh, you'll have a mortgage if you own your own property, so therefore you're in debt, credit cards, uh, loans, and everything else that comes with that. If you don't own your own house, you'll be paying rent uh, in a roundabout where you can kind of mentally treat that as debt because you're making a payment every single month. Of course, that's not paying towards anything apart from keeping a roof over your head, whereas obviously if you have debt and an asset, once you repay the debt, the asset becomes yours. Uh, but debt does feature in most people's lives in one form or another. And I'm gonna share with you today uh, something which is gonna help you to see debt in a very different way. But before I do that, uh, if you've seen any of these videos, uh, I hope you've liked them. Uh, once you've been through this one here, uh, please like it so I know that you're getting value. Also click subscribe so I can share similar and more valuable content with you. Feel free to ask any questions or any comments uh, in terms of this particular episode or this whole series. Yeah, but also share comments on what other things you want me to do. Uh, because the more that you guide me in terms of what you want, the more I'll give you that type of content and then uh, you'll get more value and then we'll be able to build up a good relationship now in terms of debt let's say you have a mortgage of a hundred thousand pounds and your the, the term of that mortgage is 25 years and the interest rate that you're paying is six percent per annum over those 25 uh, years you'll pay ninety three thousand two hundred and ninety pounds in interest and this is at six percent uh, that's a lot of money. That's nearly as much as the initial loan amount, which was £100,000. Now, if you have an offset mortgage, and let's say you've got £30,000 in your personal bank account uh, and, and, and you offset it, that would save you £27,987 in interest over the 25-year term. So this is going to save you a lot of money in interest. Uh, but also that saving in interest, if you were to repay that debt off, uh, that would shave off quite a few years of your mortgage. So you'd pay your mortgage off quicker than 25 years, uh, which helps a lot. Now let's say you were disciplined and you were budgeting properly. So the first video in this series uh, was on budgeting. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. I talk about budgeting and how you should look after your uh, financial and personal affairs but if you were budgeting properly and you were saving money let's say an extra 300 pounds uh, by just changing things around and, and being focused and you use those funds to re repay off your mortgage every month so you're paying off an extra 300 pounds a month uh, that would save you over the term an extra 14,000 pounds in interest and would mean you could repay off your mortgage eight years quicker so that's a lot. So just going through this particular example here, you'd save £27,987 if you had £30,000 in your bank, personal bank account as an offset mortgage and you repay off your mortgage quicker. If you're paying off an extra £300, you're saving another £14,000 uh, in interest. I've rounded that number up uh, and you're paying off uh, your mortgage even quicker. So you can see what a massive difference that would make to your overall affairs. Uh, now, in the previous video, uh, I talked about investing, so have a look at that, because if you don't want to pay off your mortgage quicker, you can use the 300 pounds extra from your budgeting. If you had, if the figure were 300 pounds for you, I appreciate your figure will be different, uh, but if it were to be 300 pounds, you can then look at where you can invest. The next video is going to be on savings, uh, so watch out for that, and I'll go, I'll go through in details uh, in detail about some of the things you should be looking at in terms of savings. But if you're in debt, the best thing to do is, I mean, the best thing to do is not to get in debt, especially debt that you can't manage. But if you're in debt, what you want to be doing is coming up with a plan to get out of debt. So rather than burying your head in the sand, talk to the companies, organizations, individuals that you owe money to and reach some kind of a payment plan. If you can't reach a payment plan and you're really struggling, there's three obvious uh, options available to you. One is a debt relief order. Uh, the other one is an IVA, an individual voluntary arrangement. And the third one is a bankruptcy. Bankruptcy obviously uh, is the worst. 
uh, in terms of your personal credit file although the uh, loan gets all, all the loans get paid off uh, this should really be the last resort for you in my opinion uh, you should try an, an IVA first the fees to do an IV, I mean, it depends, but the typical ones kind of are around about £4,000 and then you enter into an arrangement uh, to pay off uh, part of what you owe. Uh, the debt relief order uh, is for individuals who owe £20,000 or less and that they don't have their own home uh, either. So those three are, are your options, but the best thing to do is if you fall in debt, speak to the people you owe the money to reach some kind of a payment plan most people organizations uh, companies want their money back they might not always be keen to extend that uh, to a longer period but if you're making some form of repayment uh, you can always uh, come to an arrangement something else which you can do is yeah if you've got high interest rates on those loans uh, and as long as you have been making repayments and you've got decent credit, you should then look at possibly uh, getting debt from elsewhere, another loan at a cheaper rate of interest, lower rate of interest, and then repay off the one that's costing you more. I've shown you the example earlier here about uh, a hundred thousand pound mortgage over 25 years. You've seen the massive, massive amounts of uh, money you can save in, in terms of the interest. Even if the loan were smaller, that small saving is going to help you especially if you're drowning in debt so that's something to think about uh, if you've got family members who can loan you some money some might give it to you interest free some might charge you interest uh, as long as that interest is lower than what you're paying at the moment that's going to help you but the biggest thing i think will help you is yeah, a, try not to get into debt especially when you can't afford it uh, easier said than done because i know a lot of people fall in, into that uh, particular challenge the second one uh, is uh, to budget better so you can save uh, in different areas and repay your debt because that always helps. Uh, but more, one of the biggest things I see is when people fall into debt, they don't talk to anybody else uh, in terms of their family members or a financial advisor or an accountant uh, or a friend and they start uh, uh, ignoring the correspondence they re receive. Ignoring correspondence isn't going to help anybody whatsoever. So liaise with the people you owe the money to, talk to them. Uh, they're more likely to work with you and to try and come up with some arrangement to help you. At the same time, talk to people who can help you like your friends and uh, advisors uh, because they might show you something you haven't thought about. Uh, so debt is a bad thing if you can't repay it because like I said I've seen a lot of people get into debt over the years and it's basically destroyed their business and it's destroyed their personal life it ends up in divorce and all sorts and then people start sometimes drinking alcohol and doing other things that they shouldn't be doing uh, uh, gambling or whatever and that gets them into further debt uh, so it has a massive impact both on your professional life and career and also your personal life so you want to be focused and i'll go back to this the, the point i made earlier if you budget properly you're going to avoid these problems budgeting is the base is the foundation of building uh, a good personal uh, life but also a, building a good business and this whole series on money management is the first of a few series as long as you tell me that you, this is the kind of stuff you want, this is the first of a few series where we'll talk about money mindset, money management, how money moves, how money thinks, why certain people are able to attract more money in their lives. Uh, so this is going to be very, very detailed over a number of weeks and months. Uh, but at the end, uh, you'll have a very good handle on money, money management, money mindset, and also the business of attracting more money in your life. If you like, this video please click like uh, and also subscribe and comment so that uh, i know what you think of, of the uh, value the content i've given you i'll uh, do my best to answer every single question that you have and i'll also take on board your comments in terms of the other type of content you want specifically around money money management money mindset